Hello everyone, welcome back to another Pokemon stream, your first Pokemon stream, whatever it is. Hello, 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 welcome on in. Happy Friday, everyone. It's the start of the weekend. I'm so happy about the weekend. <laughs> hello, Savage, welcome on in. How you feeling, dude? You left last stream a little bit early because you were feeling sick, so how you feeling today? Nitty, hello, hello, welcome on in. Hi. <laughs> I see, I see you got a shiny bronzong. Congratulations. I just turned the light on and maybe I should have turned the light on a bit sooner because there's a giant smudge on my glasses. Well, <laughs> let's go deal with that. And it's not the smudge from my, you know, lens being scratched. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Something, something for the weekend, weekend. Don't actually know the song. Actually, I've been, my brain's been throwing throwbacks at me when it comes to music today, which is kind of nice, but also kind of weird. Welcome to Friday. You can fry an egg or you can fry your brain. Or both. You can do both. Maybe you can fry an egg on your fried brain? Polly, good evening, sir. How you doing? Only thing in my head. Weird part of TikTok. Mmm. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Probably the latter in Tasha's case. <laughs> yeah. That one brain cell. Oh, this one brain cell has been making a whole playlist today okay we started the day with gabriella silmi sweet about me then halfway through the day we had um ashley simpson playing in my head out of my head the song out of my head um and then and then we moved on to and then and then we moved on to um Oh, that is still very dirty. Holy crap. Okay, hold on. Got a different cloth. Uh, it's been a while since I saw Tasha and Brain in the same sentence. Oh, as if, Polly. <laughs> Wait, where did you see that? No, I want to see two. The words, Nitty. Ancient scripts. <laughs> Oh, please. As if. Are we there yet? I am too peculiar with, I'm, 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 I don't know. I feel like I could stand to like, let my glasses be a little bit dirty, but I really can't, it annoys the crap out of me. It was with in stones eons ago. You say that as if I've been alive for eons. Do you really think this brain is capable of being alive for eons? Actually, technically that could work. And then because I've been alive for so long, that's how my brain got fried. That, that could actually work. Mm-hmm, yeah, no, that could work. Some people can be hundreds of years old and look young. That is that is also true. Some people can look younger than they are. Jonas Heller, hello, hello, welcome on in. What's up, I'm back again? Welcome back again. Hello, okay, well done. One, two. One, two. This is left. You see, Star Wars has answers for everything. Oh my gosh, Polly. I think Tasha's about 800 years old. <laughs> Seems to fit. <laughs> God. You make it sound like I'm ancient. I'm not that old. Only 29. Or already 29, depending on your point of view. I'm from Germany. Hello from Germany. I am Tasha. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I am not from Germany. <laughs> But how we doing, dude? We got a nerve. We got a, 
actually, we got another German in chat? We're adding a bunch of people from Germany in the collection of people that are here. <laughs> That's why you try to fool us about the age you say you are. You don't look that either. <laughs> well, apparently I do have good genetics, so... 800 years would be medieval age. Yep. That's actually one of the times that I would like to time travel to if I could, but like, safely in a bubble. You know, like safely in a bubble where I don't have to interact or touch anything. I just want to see. Like, I'm watching TV. That explains why Tasha's so good with the sword. She had training. This sword? It, it fell on the floor. And I have a few more bite marks. Okay, just I, I want you to see the state of the tip of this sword, okay? Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. It's fully, fully just... Oh, and, and over here as well. It has bite marks. From my cats. <laughs> she had training, we figured it out. Oh, please. If I had training, I wouldn't accidentally almost break things. Why so many people die in medieval ages? That wasn't me. <laughs> but medieval wolves. I think those are just called wolves. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Just don't believe me. It was me. <laughs> oh, was me excuse don't work here, honey. But it wasn't. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> I am from this era, not a different era. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I just really like documentaries about, like, history. But, like, old history. Like, 18th century and before. Not 18th century and after. Yeah, sure, that was... Quote for Tasha, just had a lot to get to know. I want to raid people's fridges. Yep! That's... that... that works. And you're from Brazil, Netherlands, and Albania? <laughs> no, I am in Portugal. I was born in Portugal, but I am half Dutch and half Brazilian due to my parents being Dutch and Brazilian. So, I am half Dutch, half Brazilian, but I was born and raised in Portugal. Nothing to do with Albania. Where'd you get that one? <laughs> you somehow forgot Sokovia. No, 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 Poli, you're in Sokovia. You're the one that's in Sokovia. <laughs> Just 800 little years ago. Oh, come on. I messed up the flags. <laughs> Portugal, baby. Portugal. It's, it's nice here. It's nice here. It's peaceful, except when it's summer and then it's not peaceful. Because it's summer and all the tourists get over here. But yeah, speaking of Dutch, I want to be in Amsterdam right now. So bad. Me too! Oh my gosh. I have two weeks off in November and I was like... I wonder how much tickets cost to get me to Amsterdam so I can go to the Pokemon Van Gogh Museum collaboration. And, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, for the weeks I am on holidays, um, tickets are like two, three hundred euros per person to and from. Um, and, um, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. I don't have the money for that. Like, I don't need a place to stay because I can stay with family and or friends. Um, and 20 euros for, for an entrance ticket to the Van Gogh, Van Gogh Museum is absolutely not bad. But, um, <laughs> yeah, the two, three hundred euros to and from uh, is kind of where I'm just like, no. I've seen, I've seen tickets to an L for 50, 60 euros. I'm not paying two, three hundred euros for that. So, 
I've had to make the executive decision that unless a miracle happens in the next month, I will not be going to that collaboration because literally the two weeks in November would be the only time that I have free that I could go and not be dead when I come back because travel is tiresome. But yeah, place has been insane. The scalpers are all over the news. Yeah, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I mean, here's the thing though. There's, there's like, this collaboration runs until August. So, technically, it shouldn't make too big of a difference if you go now or if you go at the end, because supposedly they will be supplying those cards. They, they will be supplying enough of those cards and enough of that merch to, you know, keep up the shop until the end, but yeah. That's a bit, bit much. I got business class for 380. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this would be on what I call the airplane buses. So, the comfort of a bus, but airplane style. I, I really, I, like, this is one of those times where I'm just like, I want to go. I'm not spending two, three hundred euros to go, though. That's way too much. Oh, and then, like, another 20, 25 euros to get from the airport to, uh, Central Station. Uh, which, like, yeah. You said until August? It's until... No, I said until January. Did I say until August? I meant January. What the hell? I knew January. I thought I said January. It seems my mouth said August, though. Um... I think my brain might have misfired. I wish it was August though. Oh my gosh, if it ran until August, I would be so happy. Because then whatever the case, I could just figure out next year. Because like the November holidays that I have are the last ones I can take for the year. Um, I could figure out next year when the cheapest tickets would be and plan my holidays for that period so I could go. Because, like, we're not allowed to take days off work unless, like, medically necessary uh, during the month of December and the start of January. Which is exactly when the exhibit is due to end! But yeah. Scalpers are running a Pokemon art exhibit. The Van Gogh Museum 50th anniversary is being tainted by greedy bastards. Yeah. I saw the videos. It's, um... It, it really does give Pokemon fans a bad name. Honestly, those those kind of videos, like, like why, why, just just why? You know, I I understand the I want to be the first. You know, I understand the I want to be the first kind of thing. But like, if you can't be the first, then you know this thing's gonna run for like three or four months. Just you know, chill. They're gonna have to supply enough. To last those three, four months. So, just chill. Just, just chill, you know? But, yeah. I mean, I guess now would be like the hype season. Because like, they could probably sell those cards to like people that can't get there for like an absurd amount of money. But yeah. The 120 Pokemon team skateboards are being sold for 20k. Yeah, dude. Like, Pokemon things are, like, investments. Like, for real, for real. Like, you can literally buy... Like, anything limited edition Pokemon is truly an investment. Like, you can buy it for a price and sell it for four, five, six times more. Um, if you just wait long enough. Or not wait long enough, depending on the situation. But, but yeah. It's, um... Uh, Pokemon's like a stock market. That, that's, that's, that's it. That's legitimately it. Pokemon is like a stock market. You want to buy low to sell high, 
if that's what you're going for. And sometimes you have to wait a couple of years or like a decade. It's insane, absolutely insane. But yeah, the whole the whole finance section of Pokemon, that's not for me. I like the cute fluffy things. <laughs> I like the fun part. Like what a 10 year old likes. But, but yeah, anyways. Uh, I really would like to go to that collaboration. It's not gonna happen though. I can sell everything I got and buy Pokemon cats cards, I assume. If someone could keep me and feed me for the next 10 years. I don't think that's how it works, Polo. You kind of have to figure out exactly what, like, what's gonna trend. And also, Pokemon cards, like, you have to have the right pulls, which means you could easily spend 500 bucks on buying packs to maybe only get, like, one or two cards that are worth something. So, it's it's kind of like a pros and cons kind of situation when it comes to the cards, but when it comes to, like, all the limited edition, like, plushies, uh, hardware, uh, you know, car like, the, the promo cards and stuff like that, the jumbo cards. Oh, I wish I had jumbo cards, man. I, I once actually went to look of, like, how much I would need to spend to get, like, like, nine or ten jumbo cards to, like, make it into, like, a giant, like, mural kind of situation. And it's, it's sadly, a, it's, it's a lot of money that I, I don't want to spend. <laughs> it's a lot of, like, a lot of money that I don't want to spend. Um, so we're not doing that. Although I have, I have once upon a time envisioned, like, just having, like, this entire wall, like, filled with the small Pokemon cards. But yeah. Oh, that's duct tape. <laughs> I was like, why is my wall sticky? Um, if you wait enough, even card packs will get very valuable. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Especially if you got like the, the McDonald's ones. The McDonald's ones. Like if you wait just like a year. Actually still have, I think, one or two unopened McDonald's packs. To be fair. I really like their sticker sheets, though. I haven't decided what to do with the stickers yet, but I really enjoyed their sticker sheets that came with the last Pokemon packs. From McDonald's, but yeah. Actually, even Pokemon toys in McDonald's Happy Meals, like... Yeah. Sell them and go to Amsterdam? Uh, no. They're not old enough for that. <laughs> They're this year packs. I needed them to be, like, last year packs. So, so yeah. Symbio, hello, what's up? How you doing, dude? Okay, you guys want to get started? Because we have a lot of things to do. I, I just pulled all my fat forward. <laughs> we got a lot... We got lots to do in-game, okay? We got to do the Clefairy um, outbreaks. And I actually took a peek. And we have a bunch of them. Uh, we also got to do... Uh, parents like Blood Moon Beast situation. It's on the stream title. What we're gonna do today is on the stream title. And we also want to get some terror rates done if we have time. So, with that said, let's start this, shall we? Let's go. Bring. Okay. So. Tuka Peak? Is that it? You, sir. Made me think twice there. <laughs> Made me think twice there, good sir. I got it, though. I understood it. Keep the brain from puddling. I mean... Would it? I don't know if it would. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. We're, like, right here already. We could technically just do the Perrin quest situation thing. And then go from there to the um, 
to the outbreaks. Actually, let me see where the nearest outbreak is. So the parent thing is over here, and then the nearest outbreak... Yeah, it would definitely be this one. And this seems like a reasonably small area to hunt in, so that would be kind of nice. So we could go from here to there. And that'd be good. Sien, hello! Welcome on in, dude! Um, Yeah, we might actually do that. That might actually be a good idea. I think we have a plan. I know the stream title says Outbreaks, then Parents Blood Moon Beast, but I think we're gonna reverse that. We're gonna do Parents Blood Moon Beast and then the Outbreaks. I feel like that sounds like a solid plan. Oh, uh, I was about to have a sip of water, but that's not gonna happen because I left my water bottle in the bedroom. Let me, let me just go get that before I start doing stuff. Again, yeah, I basically, f like, it was in the kitchen. I went into the bath, the bedroom, because I had to go to the bathroom, so I left the bottle on my bed. And then I left the bathroom and forgot to grab the bottle. <laughs> just, just give me a second. See, that wasn't so bad. Now, Savage, I'm looking at you, sir. Also, anyone else that decides to do this, I'm gonna drink water. Don't claim the thing. This is your warning. Can I explain it when you got back and had your sippy? Yes, but then I would risk forgetting to do the thing that you're basically forcing me to do unless I want to take double sips. I only need to take one sip at a time. I don't need to take double sips. So. There. So I think one of my eyebrows is not in the right place. There we go. Okay. Let's go figure out this Blood Moon situation thing. I mean, it's fitting because it's, you know... It's the full moon tonight, so... Blood moon, full moon... This is gonna go... It's either gonna be a very bad mistake, or... Or we're gonna go somewhere. Who does that? Who makes you do double sips? So rude. Savage. Come on, dude. Good, yeah, just like that. Okay, now give me cute. Keep watching. Yes, look at you, you clever thing. Lovely! She's talking to that Polly like I talk to my cats. Now hold that pose for just a second. Yes, that's my little cutie pie. Literally, she talks like them like I talk to my cats. Keep watching. Whoa, look at you. I didn't even know you could pull off that kind of expression. So photogenic. You're just too ab adorable, you know that? I could eat you right up. Please don't eat them. Let's see how, let's see how far we could go. Was this an extra serving of cuteness just for me? Don't mind if I do. More, I need more. Someone get me extra storage and a napkin too. Why, did, why does she need a napkin though? Grow a one. But why does she need a napkin? Be real here. Would you not talk like that as well if Pokemon were real? Dude, I talk like that to my cats. I don't need to talk like that to Pokemon. I already do that to my cats. Oh, hey partner, you made it. How long have you been standing there? You weren't uh, listening in on all that stuff. I nope. Don't want to know. Forget I asked. Not what I asked. But it is the answer you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's right around this part of the forest where people have supposedly seen the Blood Moon Beast. <laughs> Curiously, all sightings have been on nights with heavy fog. Um, guys? Why does that look like a zombie? When did Pokemon... When did Pokemon create zombies? Like, legit, like, proper zombie zombies? 
Not like the cute form kind of zombies, like... Some Pokemon are technically... Look, that, that looks like a zombie to me. I don't like the look of it. Is this gonna trigger my sleep paralysis? I'm actually kind of scared. For tonight. In fact, I've heard all kinds of unusual Pokemon appear on foggy nights. I'm sure that the Blood Moon Beast is one of them. It's gotta be. Russell, Russell, Russell. Oh, is that my little cutie pie back for another photo shoot? Shaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
I was just rattling off what the manual said. I picked this thing up after, at a thrift shop. I don't really understand how it's supposed to work. My preliminary surveys make me think there are actually dozens of Pokemon species that tend to show up around the forest on foggy nights. We can split the load, so how about you try and snap photos of 10 species of Pokemon for me? How about it, partner? If we tackle this together, I'm sure we'll find the Blood Moon Beast. I am kind of scared of finding that beast, actually. Oh, we're looking for clear photos that get the Pokemon nice, big, and frame. You want to sneak up on foot to get close to them, no riding on big, noisy Pokemon. Think you're ready? Just say the word. Once you're good, we can set up in the tent and wait for a foggy night. Hmm. This feels like something that's gonna take quite some time. Should I start with a Clefairy outbreak, actually? Like, should I- should I just- I- I'm, I think I might just start with the Clefairy Outbreak first. Before we start taking photos, because I feel like that's gonna probably consume the rest of stream, so we might want to just get a few Outbreaks done. Hopefully, like, get some shiny Clefairy, that would actually be kind of nice. Um... I think that's actually going to be the plan. I thought the parent thing was, would be a little bit faster than that, but maybe it's just going to take a while longer than I expected. So we're just going to go start with the outbreaks. That, that feels like a good plan. Oh, look, it's the Snorlax in the cave. Photos literally take five. Oh, do they now? Oh. Well, then maybe we go do that first then. I'm driving back. Because like she said, wait for a foggy night. So I thought maybe we just have to wait out the cycles until the nighttime. Like this would be one of those really long-winded quests. But if you say otherwise... Then I am inclined to believe. That is, where's Perrin? Okay. Uh... Let's try this then. Ready to photograph. Ready to photograph. I'm going to have fun today. And bye bye. Thank you for sticking around for a little bit, CN. Have a good one, dude. Good night. Uh, ready to go photograph some Pokemon and survey the forest for me. Sure. Let's hang in the tent until the weather gets nice and foggy. Looks like this is about as good as it's gonna get. All right, partner, get out there and survey. Okay. Can I walk and have the camera open? I can't. Okay, that's kind of sucky. I want the pictures to look good, though. Okay, I did not read all of that text, but that is fine. Cute. 
As long as you don't put yourself in the picture, I'm sure they'll look great. Exactly! That is exactly it, dude. You got it. Sorry, I had to. Oh no, I actually hate being in pictures. Like, like no joke. I like to be the one behind the camera, not in front of it. When it comes to pictures, when it comes to like video, that's a whole other story. Like I'm way more okay with video than I am with photos, like being in them. Oh, this is so slow without me right on. This is so slow. Can I get a two in one? Maybe not. Okay. I mean, I've been centering all the Pokemon. Like, in real life, I would put it in one of the corners, but... Oh well. There's a dust call over there, though. Wouldn't mind taking that photo. Oh, there's two of them here. Oh! I got it like half disappearing! Look at all those pixels! Wait, what? The half disappearing one doesn't count? I thought that was a good picture! Except for the pixels, but you know, that's something else, I guess. Does this one count? It does. Okay, cool. I thought the half disappearing one looked really cool though. That's kind of unfair. Oh, it doesn't count if they're like half running away. Got it. Okay. What is this gonna count? Oh, it counts as both?
Another dust skull. That's the Vulpid I already have. Can I fight Pokemon here? Is it. Probably can't. It's like one hell of a game of hiding seek, though. I've seen her bleeding purple, you know what that means. Arcane, welcome on in! Also, please! I don't bleed purple. Actually, <laughs> my cat scratched me. I definitely bleed red. Scroll squad roll out. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. And there's some low tad over there. Oh, and there's these over here too. And those are literally the last two that I need. I don't really see anything though. I don't think this is gonna count. Oh, it did count! I sometimes forget this game is made for like 10 year olds. Yeah. Imagine if we found a shiny now. Alrighty. That's ten. This is fun. I like this Pokemon Snap style thing, where you can like choose your own path of like where you're gonna go. Actually, imagine if Pokemon Snap was done in like the like not Pokemon Snap. The new Pokemon Snap game is amazing. Like definitely one of my faves out there. But imagine if they had done it like this. You know, where you can walk around and take the pictures. That would be really fun too. <gasps> Maybe this is what they're testing for for the next version of Pokemon Snap. Like if they launch a new Pokemon Snap 2, that it'd be like in this style where like you're running around. Like you have a couple of paths. You get to decide which path you're going to take. But like you're not in a cart. You're like running around and you can go back and forth. The challenge is, is that it's on rails. Yes, but... The Pokemon, they don't flee from you. They don't flee when they see the rails, when they see the cart coming. But if they made it like this, where they can flee and those pictures don't count, then the challenge would literally to be to get the best Pokemon photo you can get. And I feel like that could be interesting too. You know? Okay, so if we just compile the photos we both took, it looks like we photographed every Pokemon known to appear in the forest when it's foggy. We did it! We really pulled it off. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Grawa! Now we just send all our data to the Pokemon searcher and... Dot dot dot. Also, it's meant to do the short runs a lot of times until you learn what mons do and what do better and better. I know. So I get what you mean. It's not the game's point. I know! It's not the game's point, but wouldn't it be fun? I'm not going for the point. I'm going for fun. <laughs> Wait, I guess it's supposed to take a little bit for all the data to be uh, processed or whatever. Okay. You know, the photos you took were all a real good partner. You got an eye for this. So, Spill, what were you thinking about most when you were taking those photos? Capturing them as they are. Sure. So I really wanted to show how the Pokemon live pure and on a... I'm gonna make a confession. I don't actually know how to read that word. Unadulterated? 
unadulterated. I feel like the word adults in there. So unadult rated? Unadulterated? Unadulterated. I I struggle. Anyway. First way was best. I still struggle. <laughs> I, uh, I'm actually in a bit of a slump myself. Even a kid like you knows what a slump is, right? Like when nothing seems to go right for you. Well, if nothing goes right for you, just go left. <laughs> you might not believe it, but when I was younger, I was lauded as a photography prodigy. Everyone loved my photos, absolutely everyone. But these past few years, I feel like I've lost my spark and my photos show it. They lack heart, the awards have all dried up. The accolades too. Oh, you poor thing. And the longer it keeps dragging on, the more I lose sight of what it is I even want to capture with my photos. Honestly, I kind of get that. I, uh, I kind of hit a slump with uh, AR photography as well. But that's like also partially because like I haven't really had the energy to leave my house on purpose to go take photos. And don't really have anyone to keep me company while I take photos. Because honestly, I can't really go take pictures without someone coming with me. Because I, I am a danger to myself. Because I like, I, I'll focus on just getting the picture the way I see it in my brain. And I forget about my surroundings there where my feet are. My friend once had to like pull me back from like, stepping in a river. So. Yeah. <laughs> I left for Kitakami as fast as I could. I thought that if I could just get a photo of an astounding Pokemon like that, then maybe, just maybe, something inside me would change. That's rough. That's rough, buddy. That's all you got? You're not very good at this comforting thing. I'm not here to comfort you. Dingle Dee Dee Doodle! <laughs> oh my- Wait, what is this ringtone? Dingle Dee Dee Doodle? Oh gosh. I guess the machine's done doing its thing, but that jingle. Yeah. Pretty sure that's the same one my dryer plays when it's done with a load. I don't think my dryer plays any jingles. My washing machine does, though. Who decided to use that? Can you just give me anything in jingle now? That was a parent quote, right? No, that's rough, buddy? That's... Oh, dingle dee dee doo doo? Was that supposed to be a parent quote? I don't know. That would, that would, the sound effect written down. Anyway, if we filter out all our data, it looks like there's still one hit out there in the foggy woods. I was kidding. Well, I mean, I thought you were being serious. You didn't, you didn't put any funny emote at the end of that. How am I supposed to know? We finally found it. Eh, this is it. You know, talking to you really helped me throw off some of that old tension. I think I'm ready to meet the Blood Moon Beast. How about you, partner? Are you ready? I mean, yes. I guess I have to be. Then... Then we're off. I... I... I get a feeling that Pokemon created a zombie. Like a zombie... Looking zombie Pokemon. And I... Uh, don't know how I feel about that. Um, it's finally time for me to capture the Blood Moon Beast on film, that is. Oh, gosh. If things start to look dicey, I'll be counting on you to handle the battling partner. Oh, gosh. Growl. You too, of course, Growlithe. Now then, let's get going. I mean, I have Mia Skarada. If that thing is ghost, I got dark moves. If that thing is ground, I got grass moves. I think we're good. Uh, the hit we got on the Pokemon Searcher came from somewhere around here. Okay. It's awfully quiet. No kidding! Don't let your guard down. Stomp. Stomp. Are those footsteps? Whatever is making them must be huge. Russell, Russell, Russell. I'm sorry. Did 
This is terrifying. What the hell did they do to Ursaluna? It's the blood moon beast. It's it's real. We actually found it. Right, right, right. My camera. Now just be a good little beast. Stay right there while I'll snap a photo. You know flash photography things? Oh man, that thing looks absolutely terrifying, dude. What the actual hell? Play dead. Yeah, for real. Sorry, the auto flash just. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I'm getting PTSD right now. Why are they playing the music from Legends Arceus? When you get too close to a fighty mon. Dude, my heart is beating fast right now. Holy crap. Why are they playing this music? This is not Legends Arceus. This is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Oh man. I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. Growlithe is scared. I don't like the fact that this is the music that's playing right now. Should I uninstall? Should I quit now and run for it? They are- they are literally using the same music. Like, they're literally using- oh my gosh, what the hell? They're using the same music? They're using the same, like, style of bar up? Just- Oh my gosh. No. I- I don't- I don't- I'm having- I'm having a reaction to this. I don't- I don't think I like this. I don't- I don't- just... Just why this music? Moni, hello, welcome on in! Why this music? Time to learn how to dodge again. I don't think we can in this game. But like, I'm sweating right now. I am sw- Why did they use the Legends Arceus song for this? I'm not doing well. I rage quit Legends Arceus for a reason. I did not ask to be brought back to it. Mystery <laughs> has PTSD from Legends What the hell is that move? Didn't you notice they played the Eternal Forest team the entire time you were taking pictures? I don't have PTSD from that department. Okay. I have PTSD from the fighty Pokemon. <laughs> from the red eyes in Legends Arceus. Did you know with Metronome, Blood Moon can be a selectable m move at random? I mean, that's what Metronome does as a move. Guys, I like, I don't, I don't. Like, it's not that the music is bad, it's just that I have PTSD from it. <laughs> 
I just gotta I I, I wanna I wanna I wanna crawl into a ball. Cloth Sire is dead. <gasps> oh my gosh. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. I can't seem I I mean I think it's probably ghost. Or maybe not? I really don't like this music. And Rabombi's dead. Okay, it's normal dark, but if you want, I can double. No, it's okay. We'll we'll f we'll figure it out. I'll put ogre pawn in and hope for the best, I guess. I still don't fully understand what how mold breaker works, but. dead too I just have this much this much okay the best and the brightest the pinkiest blob of all the blobs This is terrifying. This Pokemon is terrifying. Moldbreaker kind of nullifies any abilities that happen at the start of a battle like Horidons or Miridons. I... I feel like I need to give this thing a luxury ball purely because like it looks beaten up and like a zombie and it, it needs to go sit in luxury to try and unzombify it. So... You know, at least it, it needs a little spa day. Needs a little spa day over here. I don't understand. This Pokemon looks absolutely terrifying. You know it's shiny luck too, right? Oh, I had no intentions of shiny hunting this terror. So, no thank you. Name Kitu, hello, welcome on in. Mold Breaker prevents other abilities from stopping moves. Thank you. Ursaluna has been sent. Oh my gosh, I am, I'm not okay. Like, dude, no, I'm sorry. Like, honestly, that music from Legends Arceus, I just, ha. <sighs> That, that's no. I'm just... I quit Legends Arceus because I couldn't beat Arceus after 30 tries but Legends Arceus was a very screaming game 
And, um... I didn't want any more attacky Pokemon. This brought back the memories I didn't want to have anymore. Just... I get it. Perrin is clearly the great-grand-great-great-great-great-granddaughter of Adaman. The hair is the same. The shape of the eyes is the same. The color scheme is the same. Like, it's obvious. But, uh, I did not expect the Red Eyes theme songs to be playing right now while fighting this Ursaluna. I get it. It's a Hisuian form. It's a Hisuian evolution form situation thing. But they didn't have to go so hard on the exact same song. They could have remixed it and made it last traumatizing for yours truly. This is all I'm saying. I've screamed enough with Legends Arceus. I didn't, I didn't need to do that again. I've, I've, I've done it. I've got to the end. Didn't finish it, but I did get to the end. We're done. No. The game, the game is... Look. The game is right here. Safe in the box. I, I don't want to scream anymore. A Paldea Kitakami remix for Legends Arceus would sound cool. It w and also a lot less traumatizing for me. <laughs> really hope we get a Legends Celebi game. Well, I mean, considering... That... We got Arceus. I would say the next one they would launch would probably be something like Pokemon Legends Zekrom or something like that. But yeah, I don't know. Here it is. The game is in the box. I don't want to scream anymore. <laughs> Sounds like a movie trailer. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Basically. Okay, let's let's continue this. Uh, I didn't seriously think you'd go toe to toe with that blood moon beast, let alone catch it. That was amazing, absolutely amazing. Grow out. Victini, Celebi, Jirachi, Growlithe. Got to work on those nerves a bit, bud. Bow. Oh. That blood moon quest really triggered, dude. No, that was like no. My heart stopped for a second and it started beating real fast. Like, literally. <laughs> but my heart is still beating a mile per minute. Yeah, exactly, Perrin. What a thrill. No, 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 no. PTSD. No thrill. Hey, we got a not to. Congrats, Savage. Just couldn't stop snapping shots of you battling the Blood Moon Beast. I bet you want to... You want to give your Pokemon a chance to rest and recover, though, huh, partner? Let's get back to camp right now. Yes, please heal me. I am basically dead. I swear that that like they should have gave they, they should have given us like a warning that that's gonna be like the song playing for like the thing like they, they should have just given us a warning that's all I'm saying I, I did not to and I did not to have that one shiny I'm sorry I'm still Legends Arceus mode uh and I did not to have that one shiny yet. Approved. Gotta admit to the Ursaluna form is incredible. It's terrifying! Savage, were you trying to be funny or were you trying to be Professor Oak? With the Pokemon puns. I couldn't have done this without you, partner. Because of you, I finally feel like I have some photos here that I want to keep forever. It's been ages since I felt this way, seriously. And now that I'm all motivated, it's time to write this feeling and seize the day. I'm heading back to the village this instant to get these photos developed. As we say, my family, time wasted is lost. So I'm not wasting any more time. Adam, man. Time. Hush. Both? Yeah, both is good. 
Let's meet again in Mosui. Also, don't ask me what my relation to Ash is. Mom is. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I mean, listen. It's either Professor Oak or Mr. Mime. I just, I'm just saying. It's either Professor Oak or Mr. Mime. I feel like the best Pokemon trio based on looks is Blissey, Wigglytuff, and Clefable. I think there's other trios that look really nice too. Like, I don't know, like Ralt. I mean, that depends. Like, if you consider like Gardevoir and Galate like interchangeable in, when it comes to a trio, or if you consider that like a uh, quartet. Um, but like, the Gardevoir line is also very, very pretty. For example. Either or. Oh god, yeah, you got that, didn't you, Savage? I believe you meant to worse. Symbio, don't hate on the fairies! Also, Blissey isn't a fairy. Grow on! Symbio, I understand that you don't like fairy types. Don't hate on the fairy types, though. Oh, great, I can do this again. You're gonna cause a war here, sir. Hate crash. Okay, I don't know what that is, but... Crystal! Four star. There's Lucario. Imagine if I found the shiny Lucario now after like working hard to get the shiny Riolu. Like the two shiny Riolu. I think I went in the wrong direction. I should have gone that way. Seems like the new streaming platform kick is not safe from those art viewers either. Yesterday we had to shoo away two of them. Wait, what? Did anyone here think I'd be lying if I said I had a shiny Coridon and we ride on? Uh, supposedly those are shiny locks, so the only way you could get them if if you hacked them. Uh, and that is against TOS. So, not good. Not good. Uh, but, Savage, uh, could you elaborate a little bit? Seems like the new streaming platform Kick is not safe from those art viewers. What do you mean with art viewers? Oh, the people! Oh, yeah, the graphic designers. I found a Clefairy Mass Outbreak! Let's go! So, now there's multiple outbreaks on the map. On both maps, actually. So, the thing here is... It might actually be a proper good idea... If I just did a fairy sandwich right now also take advantage of the fact that it's nighttime it might actually be a great idea so we're gonna do that i'm gonna use two of the herbs that i've just acquired last stream to do that uh i caught a shiny clefairy in the first 10 encounters of the outbreak well let's make a sandwich and uh, take it from there Actually, what do I need for fairy? Hold on. I need tomatoes. Do I have enough tomatoes? I have exactly enough tomatoes. Like, exactly enough. Wow. Okay, we're gonna use one spicy and one sour. And we're gonna use... You know what? We're gonna use the magical star one. Cause like, 
nighttime, stuff like that. I don't know what to do, I just... I know what to do, I just don't know how to do it. Yeah, that's me and life, dude. That's just life. We are about to turn this into a tomato tower. Prepare for tomato towerness. Alrighty. I have two outbreaks today which are almost directly on top of each other. I mean, that's cool. I mean, if they're both the same typing, then you could technically do both at the same time. With one single sandwich. That's amazing. Tasha is just happy she is back to the happy-go-lucky music of the sandwich. Yes. I'm very pleased about that, actually. <laughs> Very pleased about that. They're blow they're both Clefairy. Oh damn! Double Clefairy? That's awesome. Let's go. Now we should have fairy fairy fairy. Fairy? Fairy? Fairy! Let's go! I said let's go. Pack up a go. Pack up a go! All the Clefairies. Actually, if I... Can I just... Yes. Yes, I can just. Do they hit the rocks, though? They, they don't hit the rocks. Oh, now I'm getting... Curly as well? Okay, it definitely needs to stay in this corner. It seems. Otherwise, I'm gonna get non... Non-Clefairies happening. So we got 30 minutes on the sandwich, so if I literally defeat all the Clefairies in this outbreak, I should be good. It would be really, really, really cool if I could use this event to just get three, actually get two Clefairies. Because then I could have one be Clefable and then all I need to do is hatch for uh, Cleffa. Actually, I got a Clefairy today in Pokemon Sleep. That was really surprising because it was not a thing that I knew was in Pokemon Sleep. I don't know if I missed any notifications or stuff like that that they had introduced that, but that was like... That was a really nice surprise, actually. Uh, okay, Tasha Cordy today. Check it in a bit, but that second shirt is blue. What? They did a blue shirt? Are they turning around? Because they had three days in a row with, like, cute shirts. I'm a fan of that. I like the cute shirts. Not gonna buy them all, because, like, wardrobe space and money space. But... I actually really like it. Oh, gosh. No joke. Okay. I will take your no joke and check in a second. That is an entire Gyarados over there. Okay, I think I just need to- I need to leave and come back and see if I can res get those spawns away. So 
so I can get more of the Clefairies. So basically, if I just hug the wall, maybe I won't have that many spawns. No, 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 that's not gonna happen. Okay, well, while I let Miaska go wild, let me see if I got the email from Crody yet. No, I have not. Got the email from the pet store with like 5% discount, but... I did in fact not get an email from the QWERTY just yet. They do, like for real though. Just not fair, you know? Why do I only get like a 2-3 minute notice at most of what shirts are going live? I don't know. But also, there was like a pretty big internet like situation happening. Thank goodness we didn't notice that on stream because uh, on... I want to say Friday? Like last week Friday. Onwards. Uh, the internet has been kind of iffy when it comes to like international connections. Because apparently there's like some package loss happening in like the, the main service in in uh, in Lisbon. Like traffic just isn't happening from like Central Europe to Lisbon. So like everything's just been a bit slower this week. For some reason. And the only reason I know this is because I... Well, I... I work with that stuff, so... <laughs> yeah. Today, Discord had a giant outage. I mean, Discord's only worked well with me on my computer. It's never worked good with me on the phone. Like, I literally do not get notifications on my phone. And I don't... I don't know why. Like, Discord just won't send me notifications on my phone. Like, once or twice a day, I actually have to go into my phone and, like, actually open the Discord app so I can see if I hopefully haven't missed anything. It's really annoying. Cloudfair popped up literally inside my desktop and said I was blocked for a good three hours. Wow. That's, that's quite a while, actually. Did you check if the phone closes that app for battery saving purposes? I think I've checked everything and I think I've double checked everything to be precise. And there's, there's nothing that I can find that's like allowing or not allowing it to send notifications but the thing is i have the same issue with uh facebook messenger because that's still something that is in use it's where my family group chat is um and i never get their notifications like sometimes i i'll see i'll see the messages like a week late because i just it's just not something that i use on like a day-to-day -day basis. Kinda wish they moved the group chat to WhatsApp. But, you know. Can't have everything. <laughs> but, but yeah. I don't know. Like, I've, I've made sure that like, the battery saving situation is disabled. Uh, for the app. I've made sure that the notifications are switched on. I've even cleared the cache once or twice just to be safe But uh, nothing helped so I really I, I, I Just basically resort to opening discord luckily luckily like I only have discord for my discord uh, And we're very very silent which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, considering the situation with, like, not getting notifications, I would say that's a good thing. Um, <laughs> but, like, I just I just pop it open, like, once or twice a day just to ensure that, like, I don't have any notifications throughout the day. 
like any bug reports for the game and stuff like that and then just don't touch it again until I get home where I am on the PC battery savings are in the phone settings not in the app settings right just saying it's not in the app itself it's in the battery settings yes I've made sure that it doesn't like stop notifications just because the phone has the battery saver mode activated swallowed some fur. Sorry. Like when I was talking. Like literally while I was talking. There are not cats close. Who's that? Hmm? Who's that over there taking a bath? Is that not a cat in the tree? Oh, believe me. That is close enough. Especially if, like, they're moving, the fur just floats around. Like, quite literally. Also, it's probably also on my clothes. So. I do not think this outbreak is giving us... Shinies. I think we have to go to a different one. But we shall finish it, though. You believe what you want to believe. Okay, then tell me what the hell went into my throat. If it wasn't cat fur, then what was it? Hmm? It wasn't a bug. That's for sure. So what was it? Most likely, it was cat fur. I was starting to hear bells and I was like, what? Seems the wind is coming in the direction of my apartment and we can therefore hear the bells from the church that's a couple kilometers away. I feel sorry for the people that live near it. You need to check QWERTY? Yep, got the email. Let's see. Okay, we got a one-piece shirt. <gasps> oh my god, that's actually so freaking cute! <gasps> it's like the Shibi Cell going merry! Oh man. Listen, I've reached episode 30. We are about to start Arlong Park. And, uh... Like... This is freaking cute. Look at this. It's not gonna focus. Look at this. This is so cute. Aw, oh, man. Crap, I don't have any money to spend this month. <laughs> also, I never ordered just one shirt. Like, I usually wait for- I know- I know this is like- Background? What? What- what do you mean with background? 
Save it for the phone background. <laughs> no, I'm pretty much okay with the phone background that I have right now. I've had this background for like multiple years now. It's, it's nice. It's very nice. What? No, Pac-Man. Actually, so my lock screen background is is this one. You must, you've probably seen it on a QWERTY shirt somewhere. And then my phone background, actually, let me just create a new one. This has been my phone's background for, I don't know, close to 10 years now? Like not even joking? Like I've put the same background on every single smartphone that I've had since ever. So, yeah, I think I defeated the last of the Clefairies. Time to move on to the next place. So, um, I'm, I'm good with my background. Thank you very much. I just need to find the Clefairies. That way. All right, squad, move out. But yeah, that shirt is really cute. The only thing is, uh, I never, when I order from QWERTY, I never just order a single shirt. I usually pray that any shirts that I like end up in the shop, which I know is more expensive. And then I wait for there to be like some kind of promo for like, um, like buy one, get another one or something like that. So creative background for 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> didn't you say you didn't you did that before though using QWERTY shirts? Lock screen. There's a difference between the lock screen and the phone background. Can I climb that rock? Oh, there's there's even Clefairies up here. That was a lot of peepees back to back. So lock screen has been switched. Yes, lock screen has been switched, although I've had this specific lock screen for I think like one or two years now. Um and I'm I'm very much okay with that, actually. I like the lock screen, it's a good lock screen. So Damn. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that was a lot. But yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes I have to switch things out like every single time and then sometimes I find something that is like that like just it just clicks and then I just keep it for like 10 years you know but but yeah it is kind of kind of that, that that's kind of what we're dealing with <laughs> So I have my fixed lock screen right now and my fixed um, background as well. Bikes go vroom. Yeah, bikes go vroom, dude. Bikes go loud. Actually, I almost screamed from the balcony the other day for one very simple reason. Uh, so university hazing is going on right now. And let me tell you, it is ridiculously annoying. And we got the shirt too, as a shine. University hazing is happening right now, and I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I wish I didn't have to deal with that. Not that I'm in uni, but I still have to deal with that. For the simplest reason, which is... There's a uni nearby. It's a small uni, but it's still a uni. Um, 
Hazing is so stupid. Yeah, the thing is, there, hazing is like a double-sided coin. Like, it's really, really, really dumb. But on the other hand, you get a bonding experience with your peers. And also, at least, I, at least this is how it works here. You also, um, you get like a, like a godfather or a godmother out of it, so to say. Which is like the one that's gonna, that's the one that's like a year or two above you. That's gonna like give you all of the materials for that year. And like all of their like previous notes and stuff like that. Uh, from their respective like, um, like subjects. Um, which is like a thing that you don't get if you don't- Like, you can abstain from the hazing, but then you won't get those additional perks of like, getting notes from previous years. Um, you know, unless you find someone that's like, really, really kind, and that they give you their notes. But usually, um, usually you don't really get other people's notes and like support throughout the years of uni unless you go through the hazing which is just absolutely just makes it dumber on the one hand but on the other hand like you kind of get indoctrinated into wanting to get hazed um simply because you get like a small advantage as it may be uh, during your uni course um yeah, uni hazing is the one where they throw like paint or flour on you, right? Yeah, amongst other things. So on Friday, on Friday, no, on Wednesday? Yeah, on Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? No, it was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. I, I was gonna mention this last stream, but I just completely slipped my mind. Uh, on Tuesday, um, I almost screamed from the balcony. For people to shut the F up. Uh, because basically... From around 11.30pm... Until almost 2 in the morning... You could literally hear the following. You would hear one person screaming? I thought you talked about the move Haze in Pokemon. No, no, if only. That would be easier. To deal with. <laughs> that would be easier to deal with. Hello, talk. Welcome on in. No, we're talking about hazing. Like, university hazing. Uh, but basically, on Tuesday night, from around 11.30pm until almost 2 in the morning, you could hear one person screaming, and then afterwards, a group of people screaming. And then, once again, one person screaming, and then a group of people screaming. And that went on until almost two in the morning now i was almost like guys come on people are trying to sleep over here like what the hell are you doing um and it kept going and it kept going and it kept going and it was like the same pattern of one person screaming everyone screaming another person screaming everyone screaming it just ugh. So, uh, that wasn't fun. Uh, like, it's one thing when the hazing doesn't affect, you know, the population around you. Like, when you get thrown paint or, or, in some instances, poop mixed with food or something like that. Because, yes, that is something that can happen. And that has happened to one of my co-workers' daughters, to be precise. Um, and, like, you can, like, have to sit in a fountain for an hour. You know, there's, there's idiotic stuff like that that can happen. That doesn't affect the population around you. But the screaming at 2 in the morning? Oh, my gosh. That, that was, uh... Like, that was, I was pissed off. But like on the other hand, I didn't want to call the cops. Like I could have. I was within my right to. But I I because of the wind, the, the sounds got carried, so I couldn't really pinpoint where the hell the hazing was taking place. Um and also I didn't want to be that person. So that was just lovely. I never participated in any sort of this behavior back when I attended university. I completely avoided it. Yeah. The only thing is, like, when you avoid it here, you kind of get shunned, in a sense. 
where like just people won't like people won't just help you out with like your curse work your coursework and stuff like that so like on the one hand yeah if you're not into hazing like you're you can abstain from it but you will lose out on so many perks like so many perks that are definitely unjust i played solo anyway yeah but like there's the um, there's like certain subjects where like it's like the flunk subject where like half of the course flunks out of like in the first semester and like for those subjects like if you've gone through the hazing you get notes for them before you even get to that point and like a lot of times like people need those notes and they, they, they won't give you the notes if you haven't been hazed like the older um the older people won't do that it's 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 awful it's awful like my uh my co-workers uh youngest daughter um has just started uni this week and she's going through the hazing and at first it was fine you know it was like okay well you're gonna have to crawl like 500 meters to this restaurant and i'm just like okay like that's fine like you're doing that with an entire group of people like of 20 30 people and you're all crawling to a restaurant to like have dinner afterwards um, but the other day, like, her daughter actually called saying that she felt a little bit sick. Um, and my co-worker just asked, like, what was the hazing like, like, the day before? And she was saying, oh yeah, like, we got, they, like, smeared, like, food on us and stuff like that. And they, they made us, like, s take a shower in the fountain afterwards. But, like, something smelled, like, really, really, really bad, and I couldn't get the smell out, like, with just a shower, so I think they might have mixed the food with poop. And I, I was just hearing this conversation, and I was just like... I'm sorry, did you get poop? Like, feces. Like, fecal matter. Did you get fecal matter smeared on you? I, that was, I, just, you know... You know what I mean? Like, like, just, just... That's just dumb. That's just dumb. This just solidifies my distrust of people, especially students. Yeah. I didn't go to uni. Um, <laughs> so that didn't affect me. And, um... Actually, two, my two closest friends, one of them went to uni but abstained from the hazing. I think we're done with this Clefairy outbreak. And my other friend also did not go to uni. So... We didn't really deal with any of it. But, but yeah. I'm really glad my friend actually abstains from the hazing. Because uh, there were reports that the year... Um, the year that she abstained from the hazing was like the most controversial, catastrophically bad year of hazing that they've had at that university in like a really long time um like like just full-on abuse of power uh so like i'm really glad that she abstained from it like she would have anyways but that just makes me like double glad you know safety and all kind of uh kind of important Finally, I didn't make the connections that others made in university, but I still ended up with a rather fine situation with myself. Yeah, like, I feel like that's kind of the biggest reason why a lot of people just accept that they're, they're gonna get hazed. And it's just essentially because of, like, the bonds, like, the bonding experience and stuff like that. With, like, other people of your, like, group of people that are in college. That sentence turned out great, didn't it? <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I think I'm fine. Like, I have zero friends left from... Like... 14th and before. From, like, when I was 14 and before, I have zero friends left of that. Like, none of those people stayed in my life. And that's honestly not a bad thing. Uh, when, I, I, when I say this, I'm critically speaking about from school. 
Like people that were like in my class and presumably my friends during class. Um, I have literally a handful of friends from my 10th to 12th grade era. Which honestly was like my best era, if I, if I have to be honest here. Um, <laughs> it was a good era for me. Uh, met a lot of good people that are still in my life. And re-encountered one, one friend that I made um, when I was 12. And she's currently still in my life and we went to her wedding uh, the other day. The other day the, at the start of the month, so... Like, that's, that's kind of what I like. Like, it's just... You don't have to talk to people every single time, but like when you finally reconnected with them, like it's like you've never left. Like that's the good stuff. Those are the people you want in your life. Sounds like freaking car alarm! Holy crap, Clefairy! Very critical, so I guess I don't buy these social contracts like the aforementioned. Yeah, no, you gotta prove to me, like I've been burned a lot, so like you gotta prove to me that I can trust you, and if I can trust you, I can trust you, you know? Like, there's no, there's no turning back if I ever stop trusting you. It's all very, very fickle. But yeah. One of the friends I went to the fair with last weekend, I know since I was 15 years old. 20 years and counting at this point. Yeah, so most of my friends that, I, that I've kept uh, have been around 10 years and counting. Like... 10, 12 years and counting. Um, except for this one friend that I attended the, her wedding of um, at the start of the month. And we met nearly 20 years ago. So, uh, we met when I was 12. I'm currently 29. No, we met when I was 12? No, younger than that. Like, way younger than that, I think. 2005. So nearly, nearly 20 years. Nearly 20 years at this point. Like, we're getting there. <laughs> so, uh, it's been lovely. Like, I don't talk to her often, but like, when I do, it's just, like, nothing's ever changed. Which is the best. Can I tease you with the knowledge that I found a shiny Clefairy from one of these raids? You mean the outbreaks? Or, like, did you actually do, like, a raid raid? Cause like you can, if you want to, but like you don't need to. Outbreak, sorry. Okay, gotcha. No, cause like you have to be really, really lucky to get a shiny out of uh, out of a raid, from what I've understood. How much time do I have left on the sandwich? Three minutes. Yeah, I'm not gonna make a second sandwich. The next outbreaks we're gonna go to are just gonna be like full on. No sandwich. First one I went to. Oh, we're on the third one so far, and I got zero. Zero. So, uh, it's been nice. Uh, I've had three shinies out of a raid. Like, the terror raids? Like, those raids. I found Star Raptor full-on randomly. Like, Sandwich just finished. It just showed up. Terror rates. Wow. Okay. Lucky you. I don't do enough terror rates to be able to like be like, oh yeah, I've done enough terror rates that I can find shinies. Nope. It's not a thing. I need to get carried in those. Actually, I might actually do some of those. Also, can we appreciate how Clefairy just does a little booty shake? That's really cute. The little booty shake. Want to know something? Belcha hasn't had any shiny since she started playing her DLC. She thinks her game is broken now. Oh my goodness, for real? That is so unlucky. Wow. I mean... I can't really complain considering, like, I'm the girl that got a shiny Poochiana, like, 15 minutes into playing the DLC. <laughs> um... So... You know, can't, can't, can't really complain there. I've, uh, not random and not with sand. Damn, dude. I, uh, I can't relate. It's tiresome seeing the fifth spoink. 
I got too many duplicate shinies. Yeah, when I was hunting for a uh, shiny cloth, I got like five or six uh, Nackley. I mean, it took three to do, like make the Nackley, the shiny Nackley family, but um, the rest is just in a box waiting to get traded away. When I did my shiny Lidlio hunt, I found 11 female Litlio. One of them was killed by accident. One of them I'm keeping. Or two of them I'm keeping, actually. And uh, on the 12th one, I found a male uh, shiny Litlio, which is what I needed to complete the fam. So. So, you know. So, those are all my repeat shinies are basically sitting in a box. And once that box is filled up, I will do trades with people. I will literally give away the shinies. So. Lowest in the line is always the most valuable. Yeah. But yeah, so basically my intention is when the box of uh, repeats gets filled up, I will grab all the repeats and I will trade them away to people in like a giveaway style. When that happens, there will be announcements, but yeah. I've got like 11 Screamtails. That's a lot of Screamtails. But I do see that you have Pokemon Scarlet. Unless you hatched for it. Oh, what did I hit? Oh, cutie fly. Cutie fly is a cutie pie. I am actually excited to hunt for this. Um, though it's gonna be difficult to see. But uh, I got a Rebombi traded to me, which I initially thought was legit, but then I figured out it probably wasn't legit. Um, in uh, Pokemon um, Sword and Shield. And I've never actually been able to hunt for that one myself. So I'm excited to hunt for that in this game. With how fast these shiny hunts have been like going, it's probably doable. Uh, they just kept showing up. I've got Violet as my main now. It used to be Scarlet. I only have Violet. Normally we would buy both games, but like Bruno was not really interested in buying uh, Scarlet when he saw the the graphics. Like it doesn't matter how how well the story is. Like he's very much like, does it look good? And no, it doesn't. Does it play good? Sometimes no, it doesn't. Is the story good? Absolutely. The story is great, but that he doesn't really care about that part. <laughs> the graphics aren't good enough. He's not gonna he's not gonna go for it, so. So yeah. And that's okay. And that is okay. Now the sandwich is definitely over. We're not gonna make any more sandwiches because we're running low on Herba Mystica. But yeah. Shiny hunting in Scarlet Vite is so much better than what it was. Besides maybe Legends Arceus. Oh, I have never gotten to the point where I could shiny hunt in Legends Arceus because I rage quit that. So hard. Um, yeah. <laughs> Fully rage quit that game. I got PTSD just now from doing the, the Blood Moon Ursaluna. Put the freaking red-eyed Pokemon over there. Like the theme song from those? Freaking PTSD. Freaking PTSD, dude. No. I've never screamed so much at a video than when I was playing Legends Arceus. <laughs> I've never screamed so much. That was, uh... No fun. I mean, it was alright, but like... You know? If, if Legends Arceus had, like, the, um, the regular Pokemon mechanic where, like, you as a character cannot die. And all the battles are, like, the same. But, like, you as the character cannot get hurt and die and get sent back to the start. I would be like, okay, this is a little bit better because I don't have to fear that I'm gonna die. Because if a Pokemon attacks me, I'll just enter a Pokemon battle where my Pokemon gets sent out. Um, and that's, that's all right. That's cool. That's fine. But that wasn't the case. So that was not so cool and not so fine. But yeah. Can't 
have it all. What did I hit? Oh. I was not looking at that. Like, not one bit. We're gonna run. Uh, I love PLA because it was so different, even though the Pokemon battling system is my favorite part of the franchise, but I still like the different styles. See, here's the thing. I I enjoy Pokemon for the shiny hunts. And uh, this Mighty Anna is not leaving me alone. I enjoy Pokemon for the shiny hunts. And like for the collection part of it, not necessarily for the battles. Like, if I could do with just, like, quick catching everything without entering battle mode, that would be kind of great. It's probably the reason why... I'm sorry, is this shiny? Or is that just me? No, that's just me. Uh, that's probably the reason why I enjoyed uh, Pokemon Snap so much. What if I get mice? What if I get shiny mice? That'd be kind of amazing if I got shiny mice. I kind of get rid of though. If the graphics are not amazing, that is one thing. But the gameplay is so affected by it with glitches and shortcomings because of shoddy development. Nintendo games are not meant to look great, but to be fun. And I feel Pokemon really dropped the ball this time. Yeah. Sounds like you'd actually... Like, I played Legends Arceus. I rage quit Legends Arceus. Like, you have to understand, I got to Arceus, and then I tried to defeat Arceus, like, 30 times, no exaggeration, we counted it to 30, and I couldn't, and then I got mad, and I rage quit. I closed the game, and I haven't opened the game since. So. So, yeah. Snap was not made by Game Freak. I know, but it was so good. <laughs> So yeah, it's basically what you ask for minus the dying part. Exactly! Legends Arceus would have been a 10 out of 10 game for me if it wasn't for the dying part. If it wasn't for the dying part, 10 out of 10. Cannot complain. The dying part is what makes me scream. But yeah. If PLA could not kill the MC, the game would be... E absolutely, 100%. No, the dying part is not the charm. Absolutely not. No way in hell. Just buy some... Quick balls. I do not accept that the dying part is the charm of Legends Arceus. Wait, what? Why did it not buy? Hello? Buy 30. What did I do? What did I, where did I press wrong? Oh. What? I don't understand what just happened, but it's fine. Uh, because it's not a goody-goody adventure, you're actually fighting wild monsters that are not kind towards- I know! The red eyes are terrifying and I got PTSD from them, okay? <laughs> like, the music that came up during the Ursaluna battle, I was just like... Ugh. Okay, we found another outbreak. Let's see what we get done today. What Pokemon was supposed to be? The look of the game and menus was also like grown up looking. It was such a... Yeah, no, like... I have no... Um, I have nothing bad to say about Legends Arceus. Except for the main character being able to die. If the main character would not be able to die... The game would have been absolute perfection. Um, we'll send it. I could look past it. Funny, the weakest part of Pele is the bad system. See, here's the thing I don't like the battling part of Pokemon, so that's like not really an issue for me. But yeah, honestly, don't know how you struggled with Legends Arceus. Because it's not your typical chill game. Like, you have to be paying attention so you don't die. And I don't know if you've noticed during these streams, but, like, I don't pay attention to what I'm doing half of the time. Actually, that's that's the same thing in real life, too, actually. If I'm, if I'm being perfectly honest. 
It's probably the easiest Pokemon game I've ever played apart from Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap is amazing. Pokemon Snap is freaking amazing. Like, say what you want. That game was gold. It's the first, first game I actually, like, properly finished, even though I did not get all of the diamond, the four diamond pictures. But, um, still, that's as good as completed to me. But yeah. Pokemon Battle is pretty much the core formula of the games, finally. I know, but like the shiny hunting and the collection part is like the the parts that I actually enjoy the most. So, can I fish, finish main series without battling? But you can theoretically finish it without catching Pokemon. That is true. That is absolutely true. But now with this game, the battles with the trainers that are scattered around are not obligatory you can choose to not battle them and if i can choose to not battle them i will not battle them <laughs> which is great but yeah it is a diverse franchise like they did really good with like making sure that there's something for everyone to enjoy So, um, so yeah, it's kind of the part that I like the most about Pokemon. It's like, even if you, if you, even if Pokemon confuses you and you like can't grasp what the hell Pokemon is, like the moment you start to have even an inkling of understanding like, okay, these are just little creatures and you can either collect them or fight them or something like that. The moment you start to grasp that, you can easily figure out like, okay, what part do I like? Do I like this part or do I like that part? Which is great. Dang it, was so close. Ha <laughs> ha! Unless it has Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing was freaking awful. Uh, I like the Dynamaxing for the forms. Like, there were some really cool Dynamaxing forms there, but, like, the, the, the thing itself... Like, Dynamaxing and DAs were... I mean, they were objectively, they were fun, but not, like, the best. Because, like, either you're working with NPCs because you need four people, or four characters to be there. So either you were working with NPCs, and could potentially get totally, like, demolished. Or you were working with people, and you don't know these people. They could either be good to you, or they could be terrible to you, and then you could either way get demolished, so... I don't know. I ended up soloing most of things anyways, for that one. It's just a shame that when you stand on a hill and look over, the map is just flat dead location, while if you do that in Zelda, it's a full 180 and so much more lively. Yeah, imagine if this game had Zelda graphics. Like, if this game had Zelda graphics, they could probably charge double for it, and people would still buy it. And how it turned Max Airstream to the best freaking move in the game. I mean, considering that, like, usually, like, flying-type moves are not really, like, the best, like, type compatibility-wise... I would say the fact that they made a flying type move that's actually like amazing, even though it's only available in Dynamaxing, is still quite a feat. I said this way too much, but it's not the Switch's fault. No, it is not. You are in fact correct, good sir. I wouldn't say it needs Zelda graphic, it needs the polish. Yes, but like imagine, imagine if this game had Zelda graphics. And imagine instead of costing 50 bucks, it cost 100 bucks. I would most likely still pay that to get this game. If that if that's where the graphics were like. So, I love the game just the way it is. Well, you got your shiny Poochiana, didn't you, Symbio? 
Controversial opinion, improved graphics to this game would do absolutely nothing. No, it just would It would just make things look prettier. Okay, I need to swap out Mascarada. Mascarada is refusing to fight. Maybe it's tired. Needs a nap. If Pokemon came out once every five years, like a good designed one, it would look way better. Look better, sure, but the gameplay would still suffer, and that's what's lacking the polish. I mean, you gotta you gotta admit the story in this game is amazing. Like Scarlet and Violet outdid themselves with the story. I don't think anyone can negate that. Did the graphics suffer? Yep, they did. They probably put so much work into the story that they didn't have enough time to, like, polish up the graphics a bit. It's okay. Besides the average stuff, not really. Graphics are just one part of the package, sure, but they just need more time to fine-tune the game. Yeah, the grass looks really weird. Like, if they only fine-tuned the grass and nothing else, that would have already made, like, quite a bit of a difference. Wait, 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 wait. Is this shine? Oh, it has green tips! The ears! Yay! I was just talking about grass, and here we have a grass-colored, green-tipped Clefairy! Ooh, what do I catch this with now? Wait, what do I catch this with? Okay, so I can either use a heel ball, okay, which is the pink, Okay. Or I could try to match only the little green parts of the ears, in which case I would go for the nest ball. Hmm. And I genuinely think we're gonna do that. You would go heal? But like... The heel has the white and the blue as well, and like the blue is pretty pretty dominant there, while I could do like the opposite and like do the mix and match and just match the Pokeball to the tip of their ears. Um because I feel like that could look that could look nice. Like do you see? Do you see the Pokeball? And then if I were to put the heel ball next to it. Hmm. I don't know. Match the body or match the ears? Should I make a poll and let y'all decide? I'm gonna make a poll and let y'all decide. Where's the... poll thing? Okay, I'm gonna put this at one minute and you guys can- you guys can choose. You guys get to decide, do I match the green ears? Or do I match the pink body? I'm actually inclined on the- on the green ears one. I feel like that would look sick. Also go for the pink body but I don't know either one I'm kind of undecided at this point could also use a dusk ball but like the orange is very orange I'm not gonna use the only love ball I have that was that was for quagsire so we got heal or we got nest and this was without a sandwich too sounds like copium to me but whatever <laughs> Match the pink body, all right? We'll do that. I think the graphics argument for Pokemon is pointless. I'm looking at the Pokemon. Like, why would I care what the grass looks like? Hmm. And that is one way to look at it, but... Like, the glitchiness would make it overall feel nicer. 
you know? Like, as a whole. Like, as a whole package. Like, I don't think anyone's arguing that the Pokemon sprites look bad, because the Pokemon sprite the Pokemon sprites themselves, like the Pokemon themselves look really good. It's just I feel like if they just like polished up the grass a little bit, that this entire game would feel a lot more polished. But none of that matters because the grass is the same color as Clefairy's ear tippies and uh we we caught it so that's that's all that matters if only we can find two more and we got it without a single sandwich being active so i still believe that's more on the polish rather than graphical quality should it be improved yes of course like i feel like if it's only one thing they could easily just you know make a patch Pokemon in a 5 meter radius are the only thing that actually look finished aside from shadows for them. There is an argument to be had there, yes. Because right now is the performance. Oh, the glitches are hilarious, dude. The glitches are hilarious, come on! They are funny. Like how you just slow down. The frames per second, the further away you look. <laughs> I don't want to play in 10 FPS. <laughs> I mean, but you gotta admit, there were some glitches that were kind of like really, really funny. Like how people got, how Pokemon were like stuck in a wall. Two FPS windmill. Dude, and that one time in Arthazon where it literally, like, I was battling... Uh, Spit-Ups? No, the evolution of Spit-Ups. I was battling the evolution of Spit-Ups and it literally took, like, a good 30 seconds for, like, the entire town to show up again? Dude. That was funny as hell. Or when the little graphic of the map just like floats around in screen instead of like just being on the map again. It's also really funny. Some glitches are funny, but I don't want slowdowns. Yeah. All right, your world is... Yeah, like everything was gone and then came back again. It was hilarious. I was so confused. There's a clip of that. I actually made that into a clip. You can watch it here, and I believe I also posted it already on YouTube, so... Both should be an option. And Symbio got a new Pokémon! It's Smoliv! When you catch a Pokémon, the Pokéballs still do not have shadows, not even a circle. That is honestly not a thing that I've paid attention to, if I'm being honest. Like, honestly, I'm just enjoying the game. Like, shiny hunting in this game is kind of... Kind of overpowered. It's, like, really OP. Because they're just... They just show up shiny in the overworld. You don't have to encounter every single one of them one by one. Which is... So cool. Honestly. Though having those shiny hunts take forever is also kind of, like... It's like a bigger victory moment. So to say, so I, I, I don't know. It's a double-sided coin. Everything is a double-sided coin. Like on the one hand you get this, but on the other hand you don't get that. Uh, and this is what I mean with polish. A polished game will still have occasional bugs and glitches. Celazil does, but it's rare. And I mean, yeah. Uh, they zoom in on it every time for suspense and I always look like, really guys? <laughs> like seriously? You, sh you sure about this? 
Okay, I guess Quagsire is tired, so let's put up Ribambi to fight. There we go. Ribambi is so small, dude. I feel like Ribambi was a lot bigger in uh, Sword and Shield than it is here. Concept for this game is great, like the school story stuff. I actually don't think I finished the school storyline. Like, I didn't go to all the classes. If we ever run out of things to do in this game before the next game comes out, we might actually just... do that. You know, finish the classes! Could be a... Could be a good way to entertain ourselves. Well, I mean, the idea for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah! What I'm saying is that you literally just reminded me that I did not finish school in this game. So... I sort of get the idea is good, but the presentation in many ways falls flat. Everything that they cut that you could do in other older games is because they had no time. Like letting people go inside the houses and raid their fridges. I know, I'm still upset about that. That's like, I think that's the part that upsets me the most about this game. Is like, I can't raid fridges, okay? I can't go into people, I can't break into people's houses, okay? That's the part that upsets me the most. Okay, well, these two are not... Are not fighting. Can I only use this feature, like, so many times before it, like, just stops or something? Because that's... It's really annoying to have to keep switching Pokemon. But in some ways, Gen 9 raises some rather interesting questions, especially the final chapter. It's a bug. Yeah. I, I could have guessed that much, but it's still really annoying. <laughs> the stores have no interior, just the menu screen. I just want to go in places. Like, I miss going into people's houses, the restaurants, just the whole thing. That was, like, such a fun part of the game that they just removed entirely. Okay, I think I got all the fairies over here too. So it is time we move on to the next location because I would like to get two more. Two more shines, please. I've never had to switch uh, Pokemon when auto-battling. Well, I mean, clearly this isn't working for me, so... That should uh, give you enough intel. Eventually, it will be so bad that you have to restart the game. I think my game has only crashed like once, maybe twice, where it like fully like closed off. I haven't really had that much. Um, I really had that many issues with that, actually. Like I've seen people that the game was like continuously crashing. I think I've only had that literally a handful of times. So I guess I should consider myself lucky. Yeah. Uh, it's like it stops accepting input on the R button. Yep. That that's essentially it. Yeah. Okay. No new notifications that I need to read right now. But I mean, I guess your brain can also stop, like, receiving inputs sometimes. Like, I don't... I think, yeah, that's, I think that's the best way to put it. Like, sometimes your brain can also stop receiving inputs. And I don't think in your brain, I mean, is it a bug if it happens in your brain? Yeah, like, you know how sometimes you push the R button and, like, nothing happens? Because there's a bug? Like... 
what happens if you don't receive the input into your brain as well like for example let me let me give you an example okay so today my dad left the shop um for anyone who i i work for my dad my dad left the shop like about 30 minutes before like i was done with work today and i told my dad i would pass by my parents house uh to say goodbye to my mom and my grandma because they're going two weeks to germany to visit my aunt and um i basically got in the car 30 minutes later turn my brain did not receive the input that I had to take a different road and I was basically on full autopilot to get home. Uh, and so I got home, I found a parking spot, I parked the car, I was about to leave, I switched off the car, I was about to leave the car when my mom called me like, hey, uh, what time do you think you're getting here? There's some traffic and stuff like that. And also, I would like to get a picture of you with your grandma, blah, blah, blah. And I then realized that I was not at my parents' house. I was at my own house. I still had to get to my parents' house. So basically, my brain did not receive the input that it had to take the auto... Uh, that, it, that it had to take a different road. Autopilot is input. Yes, unless you don't need it to be on autopilot. Like, for example, right now, I'm auto-battling. But sometimes the input for R is not working, so the auto-battle doesn't... Successfully downloaded update. Okay. So the auto-battle, like, doesn't go. So, essentially, that R button misfiring happens to your brain as well. When it goes into autopilot, and it shouldn't have gone. It's, like, kind of the opposite, but the same. <laughs> So, um, so basically that's what I mean. If your brain doesn't get any input, we're probably talking about a severe neurological problem. I know what you mean, but I'm teasing. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, no, if your brain doesn't get any input, you're, you're technically brain dead. <laughs> so, uh, that is not, that's not the, that's not what we mean here, no. <laughs> But yeah. I'd like another shiny clefairy, please. That would be very lovely if I could get one. Okay, that raid build I made the other day definitely does not work. Aw, oh, dude, that sucks. How much work did you put into that? Shiny clefairy, please. I mean, I want the shiny clefairy, but if you need the clefairy, I got my fingers crossed for you, dude. You got this. There's also a radiant over here. Should I just check this real quick? Check this real quick. Ooh, that's a five star. That's a good one. That's a good one to find. Just enough to Google what moves it learns. Okay, so that's not too bad. You didn't like spend a bunch of hours into making that work. I basically just cycle the five same mons and, and raids. I I take whatever has super effective moves. <laughs> just whatever's got super effective moves, I'll, I'll do with that. I'll, I'll I'll take that one. I think like fifty percent of the time that's Claw Sire. And. I, th I think I, uh, when it comes to raids, I'm like between like most used, it's like Clot Sire. That's like 50% of it, I think. It's like Clot Sire, and then we ride on, and then uh, I guess I did have one Azumarill built. I like, I kind of built up the shiny Azumarill that I got to be okay for like 
ray, uh, ray dents and stuff, but other than that, like, I haven't really... I just take whatever, whatever I have already and use that. Which is why I need to get carried. So... Does increasing your defense stat reduce the recoil damage of Grave Whip? No, equal to a third of the damage you deal. Yep. Recoil damage is not affected by defense. I think if it was, it would be broken, if I'm being honest. Because then you could put your defense up so much, so much that the recoil damage would be practically nil. So. Only the, hel the helmet item works. It uh, depends on... Like, there's a spiky helmet, and that one deals damage with physical attacks. Like, if you get attacked by a physical attack, then that Pokémon receives a little bit of damage, but... Other than that, I'm not seeing which other helmets you could be referring to. I meant the rock helmet? Yeah, I, isn't that the one I'm talking about? Be fine, I guess. You can only have 110 effective EVs anyways. Still. Oh, it's getting into nighttime again. Is that gonna increase my odds? I also saw it. I thought the Rocky Helmet was the one that uh, deals damage if you get attacked by a physical attack. But maybe not. Rocky Helmet is for opponents hitting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah! So I was correct! Yay! I was not mistaken! Woohoo! Deals damage to a Pokemon that dealt damage to you. Physical damage, that is. If you use special moves, that don't make a difference. Time to flex my competitive knowledge. Woohoo! You go, talk! Over here, we got zero competitive damage other than maybe like a handful of Wolfy videos that I've seen and Sierra Dawn videos that I've seen <laughs> Actually really do enjoy watching like competitive Pokemon uh, gameplay. I just don't like Being the one doing the battles <laughs> It's actually not specifically physical special but moves that make contact. Oh, I thought it was uh, Like distinctly one or the other Since, like, yeah, since the physical moves all usually make contact. Wait, is there a physical move that doesn't make contact? Like, isn't- aren't they called physical moves for a reason? It's because they make contact? I'm not thinking of any physical moves that- Oh, Earthquake, for example. Yeah, I guess that one would fall into the category of physical as well. Works against recoil, though. Talk. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you answer this one because this this is beyond what I know. It doesn't. Talk has spoken. It doesn't. <laughs> I wanted to say that. Yes. However, if you have the ability Rocky Head. Rock Head. Oh, so maybe maybe Savage is confusing an item with an ability. But like also how many Pokemon can have that that are like competitively viable?
I am not seeing any shinies in the south. We also have outbreaks on the uh, Paldea map, not just the Kitakami. Should the next outbreak we try be in the Paldea map? Maybe we'll get maybe we'll get lucky by changing maps entirely. Still not making any sandwiches for this. Let's see here. Uh, with Rocky Helmet, Rockhead Pokemon can now reliably use their other ability. For example, Alone America pack Flare Blitz and Lightning Rock in doubles without having to worry about losing more health to reload. Gosh, every Pokemon is viable in its own bubble, probably, but some are obviously better than others in the same field. 1v1, 4v4. Doubles. Unless that is wrong. You're making me question my memory. Maybe I'd be wrong? I, I, uh, I am not in the loop with this, so, uh, talk, this one's all you. You know what? I'm going to test it. Bum, bum, bum. Check back later for results. <laughs> I think, yeah, we're out of Clefairy for this one. So. Oh, I want to do that one. Let's zoom out. Do we have any more Clefairies on this map, or did I destroy all of them? I have officially destroyed all the Clefairies on this map. We're moving to Paldea. <laughs> Unless there's also no more on Paldea's map? But there were! I checked when I started stream! Or do I only get- oh, here we- here we go, here we go. I was like- I did not see this wrong. But there was more than one, though. Oh, here's another one. I thought there were three? Oh, here. Here's the other one. Okay. So we got... Oh, these two are actually pretty close. The more I look, the more I see. This is great. We're going to the beach. Uh, I'm trying to find a fourth move that won't kill my Pokemon. Okay, here we go. Flare Bit, Rocky Helmet, let's see. Alright, talk. You let us know. And the verdict is... It took damage. <laughs> well then. Savage, here's your answer. It took damage. Wait, what? Whoa, you found a mass outbreak for Clefairy. Number five. Number six? I don't actually know how many we've done so far. But less than without, or same? I should find an already made raid build. I have to do math? Oh no! Savage, come on, let's not- let's not make him do math, okay? Like, let- let them live. <laughs> Unless you want to do math, that's up to you. Uh, Savage, which Pokemon- Oh, Savage. Symbio, which Pokemon are we talking about? Sorry, I did not mean to mistake your names. Exactly, no, this told Squirrels HP, HP. Let's say about the same. Curry sauce. Aha! What moves do you have already? Let's see if we can help you choose. Wow, 
But registers are not always right then. Just slide on the post. Registers are not always right, dude. What? Stockpile, dive, and fly. Okay. I'm gonna put... Miascarada to work over here. Let me just see what the rest of the move pool looks like. Move... Pool... Land. Give me a second. How about defog? Would that work? Oh no, but we're talking about terror raids here, so it's not like they're gonna avoid the moves. Okay, what about Aqua Ring? Aqua Ring can get you some HP back. Would that be a good balance? If it's an R Pokemon, you may as well think they are lying. It's not the best. Another controversy says most Pokemon players by sheer majority doesn't understand the battle mechanics. I am guilty of that. Hehe. <laughs> Wait, our Sunfisk is wrong. Oh, 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 I see. This is a theory mon post. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay. Uh, dude, uh, Symbio, this thing can learn liquidation. Would that be good or like reversal? It can also learn reversal. Would that balance out the move pool? Or, you know, you could just teach a Terra Blast. Uh, it's what this person thinks this item should do, not what it does. Aha! I hang out on the subreddit on Thursdays. They do theories like this mechanic should do this. That sounds fun. I know, but Symbio, you... You want a damage dealing move or like a support move? And when I say support, I mean like either like healing yourself or others and stuff like that. Or do you want to balance out like the typings you have as move pool? Basically only competitive Pokemon related discussions on that subreddit, only related to battling and everything around it. Except on Sundays, it's... Wow! It's something K is 177, but the attack is so Terra Blast probably ain't best. Okay. Well, what about Liquidation or Ice Beam to balance out the move pool? Oh, why did it star that? Oh, I thought it was a link. That explains some things. Cramorant. Um, Symbio calls that curry sauce. Because the shiny looks like curry sauce. <laughs> Essentially. And if you block links on Twitch channel level, it shows dots. I don't remember blocking links, but I might have done that like two years ago. I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably skip on Cramorant for Terra Raids. Symbio, you hear that? 
I don't think you're gonna get to use curry sauce. It's a uh, check mark block hyperlinks. Except for mods. I, I'll be fair, I do not recall check marking that. Uh, I might have, I don't actually know. <laughs> like, sincerely, don't actually remember. I'm still using it. Well, Symbio, if you're still using it and you want a damage dealing move, I may recommend Liquidation or Ice Beam to balance out the move pool. I do not know if that's good, but uh, balances it out. Also, Ice Beam has a chance to freeze, which is also pretty decent. Now you use stupid Pokemon for raids. I mean, Symbio, so far you've been of great help, so... I wouldn't call them stupid mons. They've, de they've dealt great damage. Managing move pool and liquidation kind of work together well. <laughs> because a move pool can be liquid, it's, it, it's a pool. As long as you don't bring them to rough six stars, that's fine. Guess that would be up to the game, huh? I'm all for bringing silly picks to low star rates. Especially if you want to show off shinies. Yeah, uh, I only do raids when I need herbs. Um... And, uh, so that's only five and six star raids, and I, I definitely need to get carried. Every single time. I mean, maybe there's like one or two times where I actually deal proper damage, but usually I need to get carried. Because I don't have builds for raids, I have no intention of building for raids, I just want Herba Mystica. And I wish I could buy Herba Mystica in shop so I didn't have to raid anymore. They could just take all my Poké Dollars. But yeah. Who doesn't need herbs? Well, I want to shiny hunt more, so... That might be nice. I actually do have a shiny Toxapex. I don't remember if it's low-key or high-key, but... I do have one as a shiny that I found in a cave. Once upon a time. Almost missed it. Wait, no. Go get that. Also, I really, really need Ogre Pond's cape to be turned into bomber jackets. They would look so good as bomber jackets. Which is all of them. Just make them all into bomber jackets. Someone, please. Acid Spray is such a strong support. I have that on my Clot Sire! I've already got the next two Pokemon for Rape builds lined up. Will you also still help me out with Rape Symbio? <laughs> I'm like, for real though, that's a serious question. Will you? I do not think we're gonna get more than one shiny clef Clefairy today. I don't think it's gonna happen. We're just gonna run around in circles right now. I hope I see some grin tipped air. Riding herbs in Pokemon is like riding for blood vials in Bloodborne to heal. Nobody loves it when they run out, but it's part of the game. Yeah. Except I have a particular dislike for battling, so... I'd rather not run out, I'd rather buy them, but I guess... That would make shiny hunting too OP! But yeah. It is what it is. I don't think I can ask for more. 
We already got overworld shines, and that's like a big plus. So. Yay, thanks, Ibio! How would you afford buying them if you don't do battling to get money? Unless you get a... I've got 51 tiny mushroom, 87 big mushroom, 33 pearls, 90 big pearls, 140 stardust, 141 star pieces, 150 nuggets. I got one honey. Okay. 121 rare bones, pretty feathers, 151, 16 ball mushrooms, 11 big nuggets, 19 pearl strings, 28 comet shards, 80 tiny bamboos, and 14 big bamboos. I think I can solve all of this for a lot of money. Also, I got 2 million LP and 277,000 um, Poké Dollars. And I have practically not battled any of the trainers um, in 90% of the map. Which means I would rather battle trainers than do terror raids. So if I could, in fact, buy them in the shop, I 100% would find a way to buy them in the shop. So... <laughs> so yeah. That's, that's basically it. I made over a million from just stuff I pick up on Kitakami. Yep. You probably need 600 million to get a battle ready mon excluding leveling up then thank goodness i'm not looking for a battle battle ready mon <laughs> i just want a shiny hunt if ever mystica were to be viable they'd be in the cost of a million i suppose i mean hey i bought a heavy ball for 355k so, I would say that they would probably be just as rare as, like, a heavy ball would be. Better ready is in terror ready. Yeah. Because, like, trainer battles, you don't need to be battle ready. As long as you're, like, leveled up enough and have some form of type advantage, you can usually get by. Usually. Uh, 560. Oh wow, that's actually quite a bit. Still. More efficient terror raid, mom. Faster terror raid, faster terror raid, faster potential acquisition of Herba Mystica. Or I can be a bum, as I have been, and keep begging people to help me with the raids. <laughs> that, uh, that technique has also worked. Decently. For me. Which is another reason why I don't want to be a bum and, like, have people make Herba Mystic Sandwich for me to shiny hunt. Because they got a lot. Because I'm already being a bum enough... Like, I'm already being a big enough bum to, like, be begging people to help me with the raids. Big white man, hello, welcome on in. Anybody got a shiny Dodonzo? No, that is on the list of shiny hunts, so I do not have one yet. Uh, works until people don't want to, I suppose. Yep, exactly. It works until people don't want to or don't- or are not available to. <laughs> but yeah. I have luckily found some very kind enough people that have tolerated doing terror raids with me. So, I feel very lucky. I just sold out my five stars. Damn, dude. Would you like to solo some five-star raids with me in them? <laughs> like, I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> Where possible, never have any problems with Herba Mystica. Uh, I am the most unlucky person ever. Where I have done so many five-star raids that gave zero herbs. Included the supposed boosted raids. And no herbs. Like, I'm literally so unlucky. I 
I get lucky if I find one herb in a terror raid. Actually, should we go do some terror raids? RNG is a bum. RNG is a bum, but I've gotten a lot of shiny luck. Like, with the shinies themselves. It's just, it's just the, the it's, it's literally just the freaking Clefas and Herba Mystica, apparently. Let's check a different outbreak. Let's check this outbreak. Do a little lapse around here, and uh, if that doesn't work, then I would like to do at least one Terra Ray today. I want to check what the six star ones are. And if any of those two are boosted, I would like to do at least one of them. Out of seven terror raids I done during the last hour and a half, I've gotten three here. Wait, wait, wait. Seven star terror raids give Herba Mystica? Now? Is that a thing now? I thought only five and six star gaves because the seven ones are event. Oh, the seven five star raids. Last stream, out of all of the her all of the terror raids I've did, which was like, I don't know, six or seven of them, I only got three herbs total. Which is not a lot, in my opinion. Found another Clefairy outbreak. Okay, I'm gonna go around in circles a few times, have them like spawn and despawn. Pay attention to the tip of the ears, as usual. And then just see if we can get anything to come out without using the auto battle feature. I feel like I'm kind of losing frames right now, but that's okay. Beep beep! So cute. Actually... The moon's over there, why are they all turned in the same direction? Which is with their back towards it. little fairies have green ears holiday is a strange place game freak probably and I can make it stranger Okay, I think we're gonna just... We got one. One is better than none. I don't think we're gonna get any more. So let's just get a terror raid done. Oh, that rhymed! And then I can, uh... I can go... Take a nap. <laughs> Where's the map? Okay, so the six star terror raid I have on this map is over here. Do how Game Freak touches into the Eldritch with the second DLC. We have a semi evil Terrapagos. I do not believe Terrapagos. I don't know if you've been watching the anime. I really, really doubt that Terrapagos is going to turn evil. Damn, that took a. Where are gonna take that app? I'm gonna take a nap. Oh, you know, I'm gonna take the app on my phone, which is Pokemon Sleep. I'm gonna take it with me to bed, and then I'm just gonna go fall asleep for like 10 hours. I've not watched any anime, no. 
Okay, well, in the anime, it is quite clear that Terrapagos is very, very kind. So, I do believe that they're not going to make it evil. Need those shinies too. Okay, please be boosted. Is Glaceon boosted? I have not checked the boosted mons section uh, cheat sheet thing in like a really, really long time. Is, is Glaceon boosted? Where's the cheat sheet? No, Vaporeon's the one that's boosted. Should we still do the Glaceon? Guys, if we do this raid, will anyone help me? Same. Wishes it could have been a wishmaker that caused havoc by good intentions. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna be the case, no. Um, actually, actually, let me... I'm not online. Wait, this can easily disappear. It's still here. Okay. Um, can anyone help me with this raid? Would anyone be willing to help me with a Glaceon? It's it's a six-star Glaceon and it's it's a psychic type as well. The, would anyone like to help me with this? I mean, causing the death of Sadatura by unintentionally being kind and giving them their wishes and it backfiring. Maybe? Maybe? I'm into the tragedy part of it. Mmm. I see, I see, I see. Uh, guys, like, for real though, uh, can I get verbal confirmation if anyone is willing to help me with this? Or should I check the other six star raid I have in Kitakami and see what- which one's best? I want to do at least one of the two six-star raids. I'm trying to think what could work towards a Psychic Glaceon. I could also just go check the Kitakami one. Because, like, this one's pretty easy to get to. And I have... A tendency of pressing the wrong buttons here. Uh, my six-star Kitakami raid is over here. Which is another one that I could check. Should I just check this? I'm just gonna check both and figure out which one's the best. Maybe call it a day. I want to do at least one of the six star raids. Just one. Just one of them. And then I'll call it a day. Cause. Cause yeah. Which one is this one? Actually, this might be better. This is a normal type ghost type. This might actually be better because this is a Pokedex entry. For me. That's one less Pokemon I need to evolve for the Kitakami Pokedex. I would like to do this one. I don't think I have any fighting for this though. It's Friday, you can go for six more hours. Absolutely not, Arcane, I would die. Cloth Sire would work? Cloth Sire would work! So I have Cloth Sire with Acid Spray, Earthquake, Surf, and Yawn. This is what we're working with. Is this the correct move pool? Think about Acid Spray specifically. Okay. Are you willing to support me in this raid talk? Also, uh, Symbio, if, if you're up for it too, uh, I, I wouldn't mind the extra help. I can join with Arceus. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this then.
That, that, I'm excited for this one. It's a Pokedex entry. Pokedex entries in raids kind of give me extra motivation to actually do them. Because like one less Pokemon I need to evolve, so that's nice. Okay, people, the code is HS4XJ8. This is the one and only raid we are doing today. Please join me. Yay, we got tall! Anyone else? I should have fixed a terrifying Arceus, but I'm running out of Arceus to move. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. You're good. You're fine. You're helping! And that's more than I could ask for. So. So, yeah. That is more than fine. But if anyone else wants to join, um, y y there's two more slots left. You're more than welcome to help a girl out. Just trying to think exactly of what this Dusmora will do. I don't know it's Gen 9 shenanigans by heart yet. You mean to try and tell me that you have figured out the way Pokemon move in the game for every Pokemon up to Gen 8? Do you have a spreadsheet or is this all in your brain? Dude, what? You, you're joking, right? You must have a spreadsheet. There's no way you have that all of that information in your brain. Uh, also, Tall, if no one else joins, can we do this alone? Because there's like 40 seconds on the clock left and... Um, we can give it one try. Well, that's all we need. We'll give it one try. People, if you want to join, you still have like 30 more seconds. Come on, get on it. I mean, bar and delay, that's minus 10 seconds. Acid spray should give us the edge. I will acid spray until I have no more acid spray left. <laughs> but seriously, if anyone else wants to join, you have a few seconds left. Or we will start without you. We'll do one attempt, and if it doesn't work, I'm ending stream and going to sleep. Because I need that. I know most move pools because, well, when I solo terror rates, I have to account for them. Dude. Seriously, man. You a machine? You a machine. I'm battling, I have to expect that move. Dude. Machine! I just like Pokemon battling. Clearly! <laughs> somebody brought a Drift to somebody brought a Drift Limb! Why would you bring a Drift Limb to a ghost fight? That's a normal type. Oh, it's got Will O Wisp. AI be funny. Yeah, clearly. We're all about to get burned. That's for sure. Keep your heal cheers for when Cloud Sire gets low. Okay. Gravity. Does that make things? Oh, it just makes flying fall out of the sky. Okay.
Okay. We are uh, we are cheering because we're in we're in the we're getting close to the red. Drifton lost four PP. Dang. Poltergeist is interesting. Punishes items. I don't think I have any items on Clawsire. <laughs> Shouldn't do too much. I don't remember putting an item on Clawsire, actually. It has soft sand. Oh! Okay. Bro, I walk around with things and I don't even know what I got. <laughs> We're burned again. Do tell me if I have to switch over to an attacking move. Just keep acid spray and healing. Okay. That's, that seems simple enough. I do definitely have to heal now, though. It also has spite. It's also fine ones. Well, we're gonna try to not faint. How about that? Oh, that barely healed anything. I might faint. Arceus is about to destroy it. I'm still gonna do another heal just in case. Try and not die. Sounds, sounds like a good idea. So close. Yeah, it looks like it's on one HP. Talk, we did it! High five. <laughs> the power no, the power of cloth, sire. The best purplest blob. We got a Pokedex entry, and if we get some Herba Mystica out of it, that's even better. Yes. <laughs> I am telling you, I am so unlucky. Well, it is what it is. Caps at least. I don't really care. I just want the Herba Mystica. I don't even know how many caps I have. I think I have a lot of them, actually. I'll check. I'll check. I actually do think I have quite a, bunch, quite a big amount of them. Registered! Now I just need the middle stage evolution. Uh, let's save. I'm gonna check how many bottle caps I have. Just because you made me curious now. I think this should be over here somewhere. I have 85 bottle caps. And 47 ability capsules. But 85 bottle caps. And for someone that doesn't really do a lot of raids, I feel like that's a lot. There's a bug flying here somewhere? What the hell's going on here? But yeah. So that that's, that's a lot. I have also, like, so many feathers. Holy crap. Yeah. And all of the candy that I do not use. <laughs> 
Look at all this candy that I don't use. I have 15 ability patches as well. I don't think I have any items that's like maxed out when it comes to like the amount I could have. So I guess it's all like a bunch of sellable stuff too. 15 ability... I don't... I don't use things. But I'm pretty sure that was 15 ability patches. Uh, where were they? Here, yeah, ability patch, 15. <laughs> Got 15 of these. If I see an ability patch, I cry of happiness. Well, I got 15 of them. But I don't have any Herba Mystica. So. <laughs> Does it sell for high? Can I sell this for money if I ever could buy Herba Mystica? <laughs> oh. Wrong. Wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hurt your soul just now, Talk? I feel like I hurt your soul. Yeah, but I never want to trade for shinies. That's the thing. I want to get all the shinies myself. So that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna save one more time just for good measure. Alright, people. I'm gonna end stream here. I am tired and I would like to go to sleep. So I'm gonna put you guys on full screen. Big me! Also... I have two cats now. Wait, wait, wait. Look, look, look. I have two cats now. Look at them. They're so cute. Oliver, are you asleep? Yeah. They're so cute. There's only two of them here. Nala is somewhere in the house. I do not know where she is, though. But uh, this is Jasmine, for those that don't know. And this is Oliver, and they both have their own emotes. Actually, all three of them have their own emotes. And they're follower emotes, so if you're following, you can use those emotes as well. But yeah, so Jasmine is a torty, and Oliver is just a regular tabby, and uh, Nala is a tuxedo. Oh, look at the stretch. Look at the stretch. Ah! My cats are so cute. They're so cute. Anyway. I'll place you back to my face. It's too much face. Now you can only see the tail. Alrighty, people. I'm going to end it here. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. I will be back on Monday, 8.30 p.m. my time. Which is 9.30 for most of Europe, 12.30 PST, and 6, 7.30 a.m. Australia Sydney time. Gotta cat them all. I wish. Me and my partner have been wanting a fourth cat. But uh, sadly enough, the wallet will not allow it. Because we do have a special needs cat. So... <sighs> yeah anyways guys i hope everyone has a fantastic weekend i hope to see you back on monday where we're probably gonna spend the entire stream doing terror raids and hoping to rng jesus praying to rng jesus to get us some herbs so if you want to join me on monday for terror raids and help a girl out it would be much appreciated <laughs> anyways guys i'm gonna bum everyone off i'm gonna bum everyone to like come help me with the terror raids but yeah have a good weekend, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. My cats are cute. Okay. Bye now. <laughs>